Among the ways that gender bias shows up in the workplace, I call unconscious images. We all have images of how things look. It's from the age of six months, you create images of how things are supposed to look. And so it's natural that in the workplace culture, we have images of what leadership looks like. We have images of what CEOs look like. Now, the fact is, over the last decades, most CEOs have been white, male, and tall. And that influences our images of what leadership looks like. So now in today's world, we have short Hispanic women who have powerful leadership skills, but they may not fit that image that's internalized and unconscious. So how does that create obstacles for people who are not tall and white and, and uh, male? It is that they, their value and their strength and their talents may not be seen because they don't fit the picture. People who fit that picture are more likely to get to try out for the role. People who don't fit the picture can be overlooked. I know people whose leadership style is very different from the leadership style of those at the top. And instead of saying, oh, that's cool, she gets results in a really different way than I do, she got overlooked and, and they lost her because her style was different. She didn't fit the picture of leadership. So what do we do about unconscious images? If I feel like I don't fit the image of leadership, I'm not white or I'm not male or I'm not tall, then I have to take on the job of making sure you see my outcomes, my results, so you don't focus so much on how I look or how I lead, but on my results. But the big impact on this form of gender diversity, gender bias, is looking here. Are unconscious images getting in the way of my decisions about who to put on a team, who to promote? Um, and if I am thinking of people that fit a certain narrow image of leadership, instead of looking at what they could bring to the team, what they could bring to the bottom line, I'm shortcutting myself. So I've got to break up that image and make it bigger and focus on those results.